I am the RC Cola of indoor football content creation. God damn it. But I'm here. I'm back. As you can see, the sun is all up in my grill. So we got some, we got some thing. We got we got a big thing happening. You know, we got a big thing happening that that happened. You know, um, and I know I keep saying it happened, but it, it, it happened. It really happened. The NAL first off revised their schedule. It's just like you know switching around some dates and stuff like that, and things like that. You know, just switched around a few dates. You know, switched around a few buys. You know. It's it's all, that, it's all that good stuff, you know. Nothing else changed, really. There was no game changes, you know. We do know that the NAL Championship, the NAL Bowl 5? 4 or 5, honestly. I can't remember off the top of my head. That's because I'm a dummy. But uh, the NAL Championship will be on August the 13th, around that time. So around that time... That's when we'll end the uh, uh, the season. The, this week it into a football season, so we're gonna get that. We're gonna get that straightened out right now. So we're gonna have you know our season beginning or our season preview next week. We're gonna do. I'm gonna try and divide it up as best as I can because I want to you know get all that stuff out. Um, but the big one, um, the IFL kicking out Spokane. They've revised the schedule. Everybody plays 16 games still. It's seven teams in the conference now instead of one conference having eight teams and the other having seven. Um, so the IFL set at 14 teams playing 16 games this year, and that's really about it. Um, some things have changed a little bit, you know, like some dates have changed, you know, some of the dates have been completely white, but others, you know, not so much, but we do know that the United Bowl, which means, again, we should just call the conferences intense and united, but whatever, man. Uh, they, they changed the conference names like two or three times in the past, how for many months, because, I mean, it was supposed to be the West and the East, now it's the Midwest and Midwest, and then they probably changed it again, you know, while I'm, while I'm making this damn video, but... You know, from like west back to east or something like that. So, I mean, it just is what it is there, man. Uh, so, I tried to do a live stream just about uh, about 30 to 40 minutes. Not even, not 30 to 40, like 10 to 15 minutes ago. So, if you were dipping in, you know, you know, you, you, you didn't miss much. You just missed me eating the honey bun on stream, so... Uh, and I quickly deleted that because that was just that was not that wasn't gonna land anywhere. So I just decided, you know, let's just make the day a video. Um, what was else was I gonna say? What else was I gonna say? As the RC Cola of indoor football content, uh, we do have some other people that need to be shouted out real quick. I want to shout out some other, you know, guys real quick because again. Like I said, I'm the RC Cola of indoor football content creation. So please check out my boy, Citizen Arcane. That, that's the first guy you should check out on uh, his channel. He has more subscribers than me somehow. But I mean, that, 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 that's, that, that's, that's, good. that's good for him as my frame rates keep dropping. But that's good for him. He's got like 160-something subscribers. I have 160-something subscribers. But it's like a, a snail's race, you know, at this point. Because I mean... You know, it's not about the competition. It's about there. Well, there is no competition here, but you know, it is what it is. Um, if you've seen the guys on the Inside the Walls podcast, guys, you'll know that their podcast. Uh, they just recently um, did their. Um, they like redid their. They revamped it to a video format. Um, they had Mason Espinosa on. Um, I know one of them from Discord. Um, I do not know the other guy, but I do know one of them from Discord. Uh, please go check out their podcast, their interview with Mason Espinosa. That one was a great, great interview, really. Uh, you might be seeing something from me in the future regarding interviews and stuff like that, but I won't tell you guys those plans yet. We'll, we'll save that for March 1st. Uh, we'll save all that stuff for March the 1st. 
Uh, but then, um, last guy, of course, uh, Arena Football Statement, also known as Dukon. Uh, probably the best production values in in the indoor arena landscape. And his CIF preview is out. Again, we'll, we'll be talking, you know, our previews for, you know, the IFL, NAL, CIF. We'll be talking all of that next week. So I just wanted to let y'all know we'll be talking all that next week as more... As, as more, you know, nonsense is happening, you know, Sam Adams, again, just, you know, was it able to pay players, was it able to pay personnel, was it able to get the lease done for the arena, you know, Spokane's arena that was supposed to be done, and that's just, and the IFL just couldn't take it anymore. And I get it, some people are trying to say, you know, that the IFL's trying to blame the, the, um, the arena itself here, but I mean, at the, at the same time, you know, spoke they they really they really didn't do themselves any favors. Um, the IFL at least the IFL gets props for doing this now, and they had a backup plan ready with the schedule and everything like that. Everything's you know nice and tidy and clean for the fans and for me because I'm hoping to go to a Frisco game this year. But if you knew that this was a problem, and if you knew that the Spokane was going to be a problem. You know, is you I mean the schedule was released what like like October, November. So you should have had lease and stuff in place. You should have had everything in place by by then. And the fact of the matter is that it wasn't. And this is just another bad situation for the IFL here. I mean, it, this is really bad on them. You know, Spokane is probably not going to join the NAL. I mean, again, the financial problems are just too dire. So. No, I, I genuinely don't know what the thought process here is by Adams. I don't, I don't know what the thought process is here, and it's just not gonna work out. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna move on, and you know, just try and not talk about it. So hopefully, you know, y'all saw the live stream on Monday night. Uh, Again, I'm going to do more of those. Uh, be sure to check out the guys I mentioned, the three uh, podcast video types that I've mentioned. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's nothing else for me to say, so we're going to get on out of here and skedaddle. And I will see you all on Sunday for college basketball. Yeah. I have to get my notes ready for college basketball because I haven't been able to watch a college basketball game all week and I gotta get my notes ready, gotta get them ready so I'll see you all on Sunday and um, and then March 1st we'll be back you know, after that because gotta get the channel update out so, you know, um, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a weird you know, next few days but we're gonna get through it so see you then everybody